Good morning. We're here with the update for Bitcoin this week. Um, we have had a big move up, and everybody's stating it's geopolitical in nature. But I have noticed that the volumes are very low. Again, there's not much activity out throughout the past few weeks. It's very um, muted. The only thing that could be going on is the geopolitical issues um, that are causing people to hold and uh, even buy the volume, any of a small amount of it is having a greater impact. But the overall supply and demand dynamics are have remained the same, so we're just going to wait. We're going to see how it reacts to this trend line up here. Um, it looks to be very positive uh, short term. And then what we're ultimately going to look for is the third hit here. And once it hits this line, let's move this line down now. Once it could break here, then we'll get the further movement to the targets that we're looking for. So right now, people are more in the happy mode for Bitcoin. It's retracing. You might get up to here, 61.8. And then we'll look for the, the bigger down move. Now, what usually happens when you get a movement like this inside the ranges, and let's say that we have resistance right here. Um, let's make it a box so you can see it better go over and state that this is going to be the main resistance area in the current chart and as well as this trend line right here so we can get a small break and we can see if we can close this divergence that is formed and whatnot right there and uh, then after that occurs we're going to look for the bigger break down here this is our our big key um, again this type of movement up could cause exacerbation down so I now am looking more towards these levels down here with the current movement if it went up to here and broke back down to here I would look more towards short term um, towards here and maybe a little bit lower than that but now since it's broken higher it has more volume and uh, its dynamics um, get greater acceleration when it does break it's going to have greater acceleration to the downside so I'd be looking for this down here and under um, it could be a bloodbath who knows what the news could be to for uh, tell this occurring but uh, I've seen it before in the past some really negative something or other um, probably the India news which I don't really um, see how they're going to ban Bitcoin but uh, that seems to be, you know, they're, it's it's a crazy world right now. So um, we'll see, you know, um, onward and upwards. Uh, I will uh, update you later in a week if anything interesting happens. Right now, nothing really. We're just uh, looking for some type of resistance, some type of support to see how we react. We're likely going to break this down here and uh, continue that. Even though people are stating things are bullish, there's no volume. Um, on this, you know, it's the volume is minimal at, at best across all exchanges. People just don't have the, the interest. Uh, so only if there's like some huge money out there buying, um, could I see the, the dynamics for us going higher, but we'll wait and see. Uh, that's what we're going to do right now. Wait and see what we're going to do. And, uh, right at this level, right up here, and we'll go from there. Other than that, have a great week, and I'll talk to you later.